Are you struggling to currently generate leads in your business? You don't know the proven process to generate hundreds of thousands of leads. Now, even if you're an e-commerce business or any business that you think you don't need leads because you can just directly go into the sale once you drive the traffic, the truth is when I say leads, what I actually mean is how do you start that communication process with your target audience? What's the most effective way to be able to do that so that when you're able to get them, you're able to convert them into an actual customer or a client. Here's something that you always want to keep in mind. 60 to 80% of your target audience, it doesn't matter what business or industry that you're in, will not buy from you at the first touch point. That's why you want to be able to indoctrinate them and build them and enter into your process, turn them into leads so you can start that communication process. Because the most of the money that you're going to make is actually from building that long-term value and communicating with that. And that's the process that I want to share with you, how to effectively do this in the best way possible that works in the real world. Hey YouTube community, now one of the things I want you to do is I want you to like this video first and comment below let me know what are your challenges with generating leads right now or how are you able to start that communication process with your target audience. I want you to comment below with any questions that you have or insights that you have before you watch this video. Comment below and let me know. Make sure you also like this video. Now this is the first time that you're watching this video. You might be thinking what gives me the right to be able to share this whole process with you that actually works. Well this actual part of the strategy is something that's been able to generate as part of the piece of it to be able to generate $100 million every year for our clients. That's why it's one of the things that's proven real world in the trenches things that's gonna work and you should be paying attention to because when you implement this into your business, you're gonna be able to see actual results by generating more leads and also being able to indoctrinate and warm up the people that are not buying from you today. The first strategy that we wanna employ is don't use a direct cold ad to generate a direct lead from your audience. What you wanna do is you wanna add value to them first. There's so much noise and overwhelming information in the marketplace. Everyone's trying to get leads. Everyone's trying to sell the PDF, the ebook, the video series. I mean, think to yourself, how many times have you downloaded an ebook or opted in in your email, and especially your email inbox, right? It's exploding with a ton of useless stuff that you just don't pay attention to because you don't have the time. So how many ebooks, video series, how many things have you downloaded that you have not checked out because you don't have the time and you're still getting emails from these people? That's what I wanna help you avoid. And the first way you do that is you never show a cold ad to a cold audience to generate that lead. You wanna use videos, you wanna use content to warm these people up and then once you have that specific content, then we wanna remarket to them with a soft, specific ask of saying, we wanna start that communication process. And there's three ways to be able to do this. You can do this through the, not the email. Email is still an effective channel, but it's so much noise there. You can do email. The second way is Messenger, especially on the Facebook platform. Doesn't matter what audience you're selling to, B2B, Facebook is still one of the most effective sources to be able to do this. And Messenger is a new channel that you can use to be able to communicate with them, especially right now. The third thing is using text. Being able to use things that connect with your specific uh, target audience using like fixyourfunnel.com or using Yeti messaging or Yeti text. These things connect with your specific uh, automation platforms. So you're able to send text messages along with the emails or messengers to be able to communicate with them. But the first core principle is don't show a cold ad to a cold audience to generate that lead. Only do it in the remarketing side of that process. That's the first thing. Now one of the ways that you can do this on Facebook, on Google, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, is showing an actual video that you created from your content portal. If you haven't seen how to be able to create that content, I'll have someone linked to the video here that you can watch that shows you our own internal process of how we do videos. And at the same time, what we uh, clients do as well, the whole video process, the traffic side, how to drive that traffic, how to know what type of content to create, how to be able to effectively distribute that content so you actually get eyeballs of people paying attention to your business. But that's in the video that you'll see here. But continue on, my point is you wanna be able to show content to your audience, have them consume the content, and then once they've consumed the content, you wanna show them that specific process. And you wanna use videos at the top, and you can create a video ad on Facebook, YouTube, Google, LinkedIn, and to be able to warm them up, and then you ask them to be able to start that communication with you or become a lead. The old way of doing it is the way I mentioned before. You just use cold ad, getting them to opt into lead magnet, getting them to opt into ebook or video series. That stuff is being less and less effective because there's so much noise and it's gonna cost you a ton of money doing it. Do not do it that way. Do it the new way where you warm them with content at the top, then you remarket to them with actual uh, assets that they want which goes into the next part. Now in 2018 and even the years beyond, as I mentioned before, one of the things that you wanna to do to extremely lower the cost you're using to acquire leads and also get actual quality leads and start the communication is you wanna focus on using the native platform's lead generation capabilities. Now that might sound confusing to you, but what I basically mean is on, for example, on Facebook, 
you want to be able to use lead ads and you want to keep everything native to that platform and start the conversation there. Right now, as of today, as you're watching this video, I'm moving a lot more away from using emails to communicate with people. I still collect the emails because it's one of the ways that we're able to control that process. But a lot of communication that we're gonna do is using Messenger if we're collecting that lead on Facebook. So we're using Facebook lead ads to collect the lead, move them to an actual, give them the asset on Facebook through Messenger. The second thing that we do is on LinkedIn, we use the LinkedIn lead gen form because I'm in B2B, we do the exact same thing. We start the communication, uh, we use video to warm them up, we use a LinkedIn lead gen form. Once we do a LinkedIn lead gen form, then we move them to actual communication on LinkedIn to start that communication with them because we can actually see the people that comment. So we don't take them off the platform, we keep them on the platform. And if we need to, we use the other channels of communication to support that process. So we're using email, using Messenger, using LinkedIn, and also using uh, text as well to be able to combine all these threes and you multi-step communication campaigns. Now, one of the ways that you're gonna be able to generate the most amount of leads is not through Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, it doesn't matter what channel or what audience that you're focusing on. The best way to be able to do this is your central location and your main hub, your website. You wanna make sure that your website has a lot of convenient places and the right messaging so you're able to get people to opt in and start that communication process with you. Take my own website, for example. You go on my website, you go on the homepage, you're gonna be able to see right away on the homepage, I have a headline focusing on the community side. I have the name and the email, and on the right side, I talk about what are the challenges, the struggles that I can help you solve. As a business owner, as an entrepreneur, you're watching this, you you'd be able to grow your business online, you need to focus on the traffic, the leads, and the sales. The only three ways to grow your business online. Without those, you cannot grow a business successfully. That's why I focus on my website right away as soon as you land on the homepage. Then I also have a footer banner that follows you when you scroll down. Then I have the three videos there, and then at the same time, I also you go on my blog post or you go on the expanded post just like for this one, you're gonna see I have a sidebar, I have a growth tool. Discover how much money you're losing in your business from digital marketing onto your website. Or at the same time, there's also a exclusive access you can see on any of the content pages on the Digital Marketing University. You go on Digital Marketing University, there's an opt-in for that. If you wanna drive traffic, you go on a traffic page, there's a personalized opt-in just for traffic. If you have one specifically for sales, you want to drive more revenue in your e-com or you drive more e-com and uh, drive more revenue in your specific other businesses, you go on there, there's a personalized opt-in for that. So I'm keeping it convenient, I'm making that experience relevant to them on that platform on my website. So that's what you want to do on your website. What are the specific opt-ins that you want to have? What are the assets? What are the offers? And how do you get them to be able to opt into your website? That's the most important thing. Keep in mind, one of the general, print, two actual principles I want you to always keep in mind, this is going to stay true now and in the future forever 60 to 80 percent of your target audience will never buy from you at this point in time you want to be able to use your website as a way to build that brand affinity and that trust with them over time the second principle is the person that adds the most value is the one that wins at the end so that's why you want to be able to create that content on the website you want to add as much value you want to build that trust that relationship because the people that aren't buying from the 60 80 percent is because they aren't aware of their needs they don't know what the problem that they want to solve in their life the timing isn't wrong meaning that it doesn't happen in their time to be able to have to solve that problem it's not urgent enough for them to solve it the next thing is they don't know what they don't know and at the same time they probably have seen multiple different competitors of yours or alternative ways to solve the problem or achieve the result for example in the fitness space so much noise in there. You're able to lose weight, you can take supplements, you can go to the gym, you can use the software, you can be able to eat clean, there's diet plans, workout plans, personal training, you go to the gym, you'll do all these different things, you take supplements, these foods you gotta eat. There's so many different ways to be able to lose weight. There's vegan, there's using normal fitness weight, uh, workouts. There's all these different types of diets you have to try, so much noise, which is why your target audience, the 60, 80%, aren't converting with you. Just like in the fitness space, which is really competitive, it's the same for your space as well. So that's why I want to keep these two general principles in mind that will never change. 60 to 80% plus the one that adds the most value is the one that wins at the end. And that's what you want to do before you convert them into a lead and start the communication process. Now, as promised, I want you to go to the full expanded post on the Benson.com on Digital Marketing University where you can see this post layering out the actual step-by-step -step walkthrough of how you can implement this into your business to provide you clarity, certainty, and direction. Because I don't want you to be overwhelmed by this process. This is something that you can implement to your business. So one of the things I want you to do is to comment below and let me know what insights did you get from this video. And also at the same time, make sure you're subscribed to this specific channel. I want you to subscribe. There's a subscribe button here. Hit that bell icon and make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss out on future videos like this, where I'm dedicating to basically save you a ton of time, a ton of money. And at the same time, being able to focus on actually implementing things that work, right? As I said before, I'm 
practicing what I'm preaching. The one that has the most value is the one that wins at the end, which is why I'm trying to create these videos because it adds value to you. Whether or not you buy from me or you become a client or whatever it is, I don't have any other products, it doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that even if you don't, I'm still able to make an impact in your life as an entrepreneur or even if you're just starting out. So thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.